What's up, money? So today I want to talk about which Andy I believe could make you guys the most amount of money. Is it the one on Ethereum? Is it the one on Solana? Or is it the one on Base? We're going to get into all of that. But first, if you guys are looking for a great crypto exchange, check out CoinW. They've been around for quite some time. It's always good to have more than one exchange just in case something happens. You know, you want to make sure that your money doesn't get stuck or whatever. So options is always a good thing. But diving into today's video, I'm going to start off with the Andy on Ethereum. Now, there's a few on each chain all right there's a few on ethereum there's a couple on solana and i'm not sure if there's more than one on base but there probably is but i'm gonna go over the andes that i'm familiar with so maybe your andy's not in this video i don't know but these are the ones that i'm familiar with so i'm gonna talk about it so the andy on ethereum that i'm gonna be talking about today the contract address starts with 0x68b and ends with c9 one e all right so this market cap as i'm recording this is currently sitting at 216 million so for a lot of people they might think that the market cap is up there and i've said this in one of my previous videos it was either the bird dog video or the land wolf video but i said how one at one point in time pepe was at a 200 million dollar market cap or somewhere around there and you know look what it did it went as high as a seven billion dollar market cap so the market cap is still low enough where people can still make life-changing gains and andy is a pretty popular boys club member in order it goes pepe then it goes brett and then it seems like it goes andy that's why the market cap is pretty up there all of them actually and all the changes that i'm about to talk about but this one the market cap is 216 all right and if you look at the charts a little bit here so on the charts, it's not that bad. You can see that it had a pretty big run. Let's change this over to from price to market cap. So you can see that it had a pretty big run from May 20th all the way up to June 7th. So the market cap went from about 43 million all the way up to 317 million so those are a lot of returns on your investment if you hopped in something like this and funny enough people always you know people's been hating on ethereum meme coins because the gas fees are just ridiculous but some people they don't care they hop into these things because you know they they've done their research and they know that they'll make their money back from the gas fees and if you hopped into this one obviously looking at it right now you'd have made some pretty decent gains but is it too late to hop into this one that's the thing because it's been pulled it's been pulling back and is it actually going to start making its way up or is it going to break all the way back down to 43 million dollar market cap I don't think you're going to see a $43 million market cap on this thing anytime soon, not unless the overall crypto market completely tanks and we enter a bear market. I think that this $43 million price is a thing of the past. That's just my personal opinion. Now, it could definitely pull back again towards a $163 million market cap. And honestly, I can even see it falling as low as $118 million market cap. That's not out of the realm of possibilities here. But with meme coins, sometimes it's super hard to tell. But this chart right now isn't looking awful. I've seen better looking meme coin charts. I think the last one that I saw where the meme coin chart looked really nice was a land wolf. And I think that was the one on Ethereum. But this Andy on Ethereum, the chart isn't awful. So a good buy point for me is if you wanted to hop into this one is $165 million market cap. But let's look at their Twitter account here and see how things are going. So they've got over they've got about 39,000 followers. And what we like to do is we like to look at the engagement because at the end of the day meme coins is all about the community if the community is not there you're going to have a failed meme coin on your hands and you want to make sure that you're not in these failed meme coins all right so looking at the engagement you're looking at the we the um retweets and the likes and stuff like that you can see that they've there's a pretty good amount of engagement actually it's been shared quite a bit there's a lot of likes what actually there's probably more likes on this andy than 
the other two that I've talked about in previous videos, the Land Wolf and the Bird Dog. I think this got a lot more shares and a lot more likes, I believe. I would have to double check that, to be honest. But this one isn't too bad. I actually think that this is definitely a good one, 100%. But that's the one on Ethereum. Let's go over the one here on uh, um, base. So as everyone knows, base is the thing of 2024 and I don't see that ending anytime soon. So as far as meme coins go, most people are trying to get the meme coins on base. And if you still don't know how to use base, my gosh, you are well behind and you need to catch up. But this Andy on base, so this is the one that starts with 0x18a and ends with a022. So the current market cap for this one is 29.84 million. And looking at the charts here, it's not, I'm not a huge fan of the charts. I do like the charts on Ethereum a little bit better personally. This one, it's super hard to see where this one is going. It kind of looks like it's making lower lows, to be honest. Um, I can honestly see, let's change this from price to market cap. I can honestly see this one touching about a $17.67 million market cap from where the price currently is at right now. Can it actually fall a little bit further? Um, yeah, no, I think I can definitely see this one touching about a $17 million market cap. But I think that if it reaches there, it's not going to be there for that long and it's going to bounce back up. This thing had a pretty decent run from May 11th. So this was about a $10 million market cap all the way to a $45 million market cap. And that's decent, but it's not like really impressive. Let's actually zoom out a little bit more to get a better picture. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like there's a lot of hype on the one on base. Just looking at the charts anyways, it's not looking like pretty like I'm not I'm not seeing like textbook charting here it's just kind of over, all over the place like it's very hard to determine where this price is going to go and with all meme coins it's always hard to determine like you can't really do real technical analysis on meme coins you can just look at the overall you know chart and kind of guesstimate in a way right and this one it's not the best in my personal opinion i do think that it's going to make people money though so i'm just letting you guys know but let's took let's take a look at their twitter so it's got over six thousand followers here let's see some of the engagements the shares and the likes and stuff like that so a quick glance you can see that this one's got it's for its mark cap and for its size like how many followers they've got it's decent it's not horrible could definitely be way worse it's decent you know i think that the community is here for sure it's not as strong as the one on ethereum but obviously the one on ethereum is much larger so i expect it to have a stronger community but because i think the charts is kind of all over the place it's kind of hard to tell where this one is going to go. You could definitely make, you know, some money, like I said, two seconds ago. But mm, right now, I am kind of liking the one on Ethereum a little bit more. I think that the potential for the one on Ethereum could be a little bit more than the potential for the one on base. But let's go over the next one, actually, before I give you guys like my overall thoughts. So... This is the one on Solana that I'm aware of. And this one starts with 667W6 and ends with 7YWW. The current market cap is 4.95 million. And let's take a look at this chart right here. So mm, looking at this chart, man, honestly, <laughs> I'm going to say the one on Ethereum looks better than the one here also on Solana. But Let's see. Okay, so from May 13th, it had, let's change this over to market cap. So May 13th, the market cap was around 1.56 million, went as high as 15.48 million. So decent returns on your investment if you were in this one. But looking at it right now, it's kind of just, 
I don't know. It's kind of unpredictable. I can strongly see it staying in this range for quite some time, to be honest, from like 15 for eight to around the four million dollar market cap. I can definitely see it staying around here for quite some time and it could fall a bit further. I could see this one falling to, oh man, definitely you can I can see it falling to 3.59 and then if it breaks through that, then we're going all the way back down to a million dollar market cap, to be honest. This was a terrible line that I drew in right here. But I'm not liking the charts on this one also, but again, it's a meme coin, so you never know really and truly where it's going to go. But let's take a look at their Twitter account here. So they've got 17,000 followers. OK, and let's see the engagement. Mm, I am going to say this one. It's not the best in my personal opinion. Um, yeah, the engagement is OK, but I am actually liking the one on base more than I am the like than I am liking the one on Solana. But the price on this one is lower than the one on base 4.93 and the one on base was 20. Yeah, 29.83. So, of course, the one on base probably is going to have more engagement on Twitter because it's clearly the community is a bit bigger. You know, there's a lot more holders, but out of all the threes at uh, looking at quick glances, I am honestly going to say that the one on Ethereum is going to be my pick to make you the most amount of money. You know, if Boys Club continues to take off throughout the rest of the year, I can see the one on on Ethereum going from a two hundred million dollar market cap to potentially a seven billion dollar market cap where that's where Pepe's all time high is right now. Right. I can definitely see that the one on base. I think is going to make people a killing also, even though I don't care for the charts all that much. I think it's going to make people a killing mainly because it's on base and base is the thing of 2024. So I think people's going to make a killing on the one on base also. As far as the one on Solana, um, money could be made, but this is definitely my least favorite. I'm not sure if you're going to make the most amount of money as you possibly can in comparison to the one on Ethereum and in comparison to the one on base. I strongly believe that those two are better options. Um, but at the end of the day, you never really know. So make sure you always do your own research. I could always be wrong, but I strongly believe that a lot of hype has definitely moved from Solana on to base. And that's why I'm going to go with the one on base over Solana, but I think that the one on Ethereum is definitely your best bet to make the most amount of money. It's not always about how small the market cap is. Um, you know, you can get some really nice returns from a $200 million market cap. But anyways, that's what I have for you guys today. Let me know which one you're going to be rocking with. Are you going to rock with the one on Solana, the one on base or the one on Ethereum? Which one do you think is going to be the winner here? Let me know in the comment section below. But that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.